Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This time we're going to present top 7 favorite Cinderella female characters. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Check it out. Number 7 is Aisaka Taiga. Aisaka Taiga is the main female protagonist of the Tora Dora series. Due to her often snapping at others in brutal ways and her short stature, she is given the nickname Pound Top Tiger. Essentially, Taiga is meant to be a deconstruction of the Sundere, showing rapid mood swings, being emotionally unstable, and making poor decisions based solely on emotions. Even though Taiga is a teenager, her very short height makes her look like a younger child. Taiga has long curly light brown hair inherited from her mother that falls past her waist in waves with large dark amber eyes which are inherited from her father. She is flat chested and is very ashamed about it but often she makes up for this fake by her typically constant glare on menacing words. Despite Taiga's cute and delicate appearance, she is the saddest, sarcastic, cynical and prideful girl who is easily angry or upset. She hates when people point out her head or call her the Palm Top Tiger, a nickname she earned because of her petite size and tendency to snap at people. Her broken family has made her act this way. Despite her tendency to be aggressive, she's actually a kind person, especially to people she trusts, like Minori Kushida. She is extremely loyal too, as she is willing to fight tooth and nail to protect her loved ones. She's not afraid to speak her mind and is often considered full mouthed because of her somewhat rude attitude toward people and lack of social skills. Taiga gets many love confessions from guys but turns them down since she's afraid to love someone after her issues with her parents. At first, she had a crush on Yusaku Kitamura but she acts clumsy and fostered around him all the time due to shyness. Because she is often misunderstood and judged, people don't see her kind and loyal personality. Taiga means to treat everyone kindly, but due to her broken family and lack of parenting, she has a hard time coping with reality. She apologizes to her friends if she accidentally snaps at them. Number 6 is Asuka Langley Soryu. Asuka Langley Soryu is one of the main female characters from Neon Genesis Evangelion franchise. Asuka is designated as the second child of the Evangelion project and pilots the Evangelion Unit 02. Asuka has long reddish orange hair and blue eyes. Asuka's hair is loose with the flanks held in twin tails with her red interface hat set. She wears a school uniform like the others, except she wears white knee socks with red stripes and black Mary Jane shoes. She wears a red watch on her wrist. She also wears outfits such as her pale yellow dress with a lavender choker and red Mary Jane shoes. Her black suit is red, stylized with fancy layers and accents with an O2 symbol printed onto the black suit. Asuka is a very proud individual, especially in her piloting, and comes across to others as proud and strong with a very high opinion of both her appearance, particularly her recently busty body and her skill as an EVA pilot. She is stubborn and finds it difficult to express her true feelings to others. She doesn't like being looked down upon and told what to do as she wants to be viewed as an adult. She is aggressive and can be very opinionated. However, this personality is a front that protects a very vulnerable and insecure girl, a side which fear sees in her dreams or thoughts. She is often violent and intrusive of other people's space, especially strangers. She also has a strong need to be self-sufficient and has a great deal of difficulty dealing with her self-perceived failure when she does need help. Number 5 is Tosa Karin Tosa Karin is one of the three main heroines of Fate Stay Night who acts as the master of Archer in the fifth Holy Grail War. Rin is the heroine of the Unlimited Blade Works wrote in Fate Stay Night. Rin is a young woman with aqua eyes and long wavy black hair, which she styles with flanking twin tiles tied with black ribbons. During school, she wears the standard Homurahara uniform, which she sometimes accompanies with a long red coat. Her casual clothing consists of a red tall tunic, a black skirt, and long black socks under brown leather flats. When she was young, her clothing consisted of a white shirt with a red necktie, a red skirt and long black socks, much like when she becomes older. In the fifth Holy Grail War, she prepared a plain skirt and shirt for Saber, though it was originally a birthday present from Kirei. 
As an adult, she puts down her hair. Two years after the heavens fell road ending, she wears a long sleeve red shirt and a long maroon skirt. Her alternative costume is a long red jacket, a white polo neck jumper, a black mini skirt, and long leather boots. Rin is perceptive, serious, resourceful, and very competitive person. Though she is widely admired at school as a prim and proper honor student, it is a front she puts up in order to prevent others from prying into her life. In private, she is notably loud, shrewd, stingy, and bossy but usually means well for those she cares about. She is known as a model student and idol of her school. Her manner of speech is often hostile and dismissive of other people, but deep down she has a caring big sisterly disposition. Her tendency of making trivial mistakes at the worst possible moment is a hereditary curse. Though she really is a lot nicer than she seems, she claims to always make her decisions based on cold rational logic in the end. In her own words, it's not a very cute personality. In fact, her choice in personal clothes is probably an overreaction to that. Despite claiming that she would do anything in order to win the Holy Grail War, no matter how underhanded, she has a deeply rooted sense of honor since refusing to dispose of Shiro despite numerous easy changes of doing so, simply because she owes him and deemed disposing of him without clearing her debts to be cheap. In short, Rin is a tough, fiery, perceptive, judicious, mischievous, and considerably aggressive tsundere who shows both sides of the truth. Number 4 is Makise Kurisu Makise Kurisu is one of the main characters of Stain's Gate. She is the daughter of Soichi Makise, a genius girl who graduated from university at the age of 17 and a member of the neuroscience laboratory of Victor Chandria University and the Future Gadget Lab. Kurisu is a slender young woman with waist length reddish hair and gel violet eyes. Her hair, which she prefers to let loose, ranges in ginger shades all the way from mahogany to auburn. Her hair color differs considerably in the anime from the original VN. She has an unusual sense of fashion, with her outfit being composed of a white long sleeve blue rim dress shirt with a red necktie. Her shirt is tucked into a pair of black shorts on top of black tights, held up by a white belt with a gold buckle. Her red tie hangs loosely around her collar and she wears a loose khaki jacket that covers her upper thighs and has black and white straps at the end of both sleeves and the rim which I used to keep the entire jacket on her arms. She also wears a pair of black boots which are partially unzipped and folded down. Kurisu is generally a sensible, serious, mature young woman usually calm and collected even when someone is acting tense in front of her. However, she can also show a much more timid side at times. She is shown frequently to have been nicknamed as she dislikes all of the names that Okabe gives her, with a zombie bugging her most of all. Ironically, on the rare occasions Okabe uses her real name, she takes it as a sign that something is seriously wrong. Kurisu is also practical and a realist, almost to a fault. Initially, she believes firmly that time machines are fiction and refuses to believe that phone wave is one even after seeing it in action, claiming that Okabe had simply seen what he wanted to see. It takes the group's looking up Stern's research about time travel to finally convince Kurisu of the truth. However, in Stain Gate Zero, she doesn't deny the possibility of time machines and will build one herself if she had the materials. Mature as she is, Kurisu is very sarcastic and often expresses this through her interactions with Okabe and Daru, the former due to his eccentricities and frequent insensitivity and the latter due to his perverted remarks. Apart from this too, she is quite friendly with anyone as long as they don't do inappropriate actions and constantly engage in petty arguments, particularly Mayuri, whom she instantly takes a liking to in contrast to the male members of the lab. In general, how Kurisu treats others depends largely on how they treat her. She sometimes says disrespectful things to respectful people, but she is usually kind. She has been described as a tsundere by Okabe and Daru time and time again, though she is shown to be annoyed whenever someone calls her that, usually by doing something that ironically ends up proving their point. Number 3 is Louise de la Valliere. Louise de la Valliere is the main female protagonist of Zero no Tsukaima. She is the third daughter of the Valliere family, an aristocratic family well-known in Thirstein. 
She is currently attending classes in the Tristan Academy of Magic, where she is known as Louis the Zero due to her zero success rate at spell casting and lack of any element affinities, a nickname acquired even before the first episode. Louis is a petite girl with long pink hair and pink eyes. She is usually seen in her school uniform, which consists of a white button-up shirt, a short black skirt, and a long black cape. She has a school's emblem tied onto the collar of her shirt. She also wears long black socks that goes up to her thighs and a pair of black shoes. Louis is a complex character with an equally complex personality. For the most part, she does her best to act like a proper noble, collected, proud, and powerful. However, her mercurial nature often results in her acting impassioned, temperamental, shy, and reckless. On the other hand, she is capable of great generosity, selflessness, thoughtfulness, and active support. Her failures with magic and the subsequent disapproval from her family and peers have also left her with a crippling need to prove herself to obtain affection and obtain recognition. The same threats that result in her risking herself during the war, the rescue of Tabitha, and the fight against the ancient dragon. Number 2 is Misaka Mikoto. Misaka Mikoto is one of the main heroines in Toru Majitsuno Index and the main protagonist of Toru Kagakuno Railgun. She is the third ranked level 5 expert in Academy City and has been nicknamed Railgun due to her signature move. Mikoto has chestnut hair and is often seen wearing a small hair clip, firstly, a rather similar one in the early stages of the story. It then was changed to one with two little flowers since the tree diagram Remnant Oik, specifically from Tuaru Majitsuno Index 2 Episode 6 in the anime. Her eyes are the same colors as her hair. She's also shown to have a complex regarding her chest, feeling inferior when compared to girls with bigger bust sizes. She wears the Tokiwa Dai Middle School uniform, sporting wet loose slot socks and brown lovers with a light brown fast sweater over a white blouse and a gray skirt. She is also known to always wear shorts under every skirt and dress she wears, which surprises an amnesia Kamijo Toma as she is the only girl who wears shorts over her panties. To most people, she is considered a proper lady. In reality, she is short-tempered, prideful, and has an improper attitude with some slight violent bias tendencies, are masculine since she wears boxer and an undershirt, and insecurities affect few people know of. Despite this, she is friendly and easygoing, and Saturn Riko as well as Uihara Kazari comment on how they are shocked to find that compared to other level 5s, she doesn't look down on lower level aspers at all. This probably is because she was originally a level 1 asper, and becomes a level 5 asper through hard work. She often shows an incredibly immature and selfish side and displays happy Sundari tendencies when her crush, Tauma, insults her. To add to this childishness, she is inclined toward cute things, most specifically Gekota and Kill Bear merchandise. She likes frog merchandise but only if it features Gekota. When she realizes that the stuffed animal another person is carrying is just a regular frog, she immediately loses all of her interest in the stuffed animal. She has a very irrational and unexplained fear of bugs, as shown in episode 6 of Toru Kagaku no Railgun. She can also be slightly hypocritical at times, getting angry at Toma for not calling her by name despite never once calling him by his. While generally amicable and humble, Misaka is highly individualistic. She often prefers to be solitary and dislikes the idea of being restricted by rules and duties such as those of judgment and anti-skill. She wishes to avoid endangering other people and relies on her powers to try to solve problems on her own, frequently despite her better judgment. Number 1 is Kirisaki Chitoge. Kirisaki Chitoge is the main female protagonist of the Nisekoi series. She is the daughter of adult Wagner Kirisaki and Hana Kirisaki, who served as the fake girlfriend of Raku Ichijo for the next three years of her school life to prevent a war from starting between their families. Chitoge is an attractive and slim faced young woman with beautiful west length blonde hair that has pink tips at the end of her hair. Strikingly aqua blue eyes, stunning features, and coupled with her height, tall by most standards, and her natural figure, many people associate her with a supermodel. Her most notable feature is the red ribbon that she always uses to tie her hair, which was given by Hana Kurisaki, Chitoge's mother. But she still prefers to wear this specific one to her mother has offered to buy her many more. 
Chidoke is mostly seen wearing her school uniform which is a half-lift wetsuit with a blue sailor style collar attached at the lower part of her neck and it connects a thin orange tie that is laced through a loop at the end of the shirt, making a little part of the tie to reach the skirt. The skirt is of fingertip length made out of blue fabric that is accompanied by thigh-length black shocks and brown slip-on shoes. The same uniform style is played in winter but instead of wearing half sleeves, she would wear long sleeves. Chitoke is somewhat a forgetful, stern and bold girl. However, once someone gets to know her better, she becomes very talkative and nice. Similar to Raku Ichijo, Chitoke is the type to go out of her way to help someone. For example, when Raku lost his pendan once again from the chain being broken, Chitoke had secretly gotten the beehive gang to help fix it for him and gave it back later that night. Chidoke is somewhat oblivious when it comes to love and others' love interests. For example, how she didn't know what Seishiro Sugumi's symptoms were, which were actually love. She is also very athletic as she can easily jump over the school's walls and swim the length of the school pool in a couple of seconds. Ever since she was a child, she has a hard time making friends as they disliked her. As a result, she had a cold demeanor toward people at the start of the series due to her relationship with her family. This led her to create notebooks filled with information on classmates in an attempt to make friends. Well, that's top 7 favorite Cinderella female characters that we can present this time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time guys!